Hello, it's Erin the Get Mom, and this week I am talking about how to get your child to talk to you after school. So first, it's so important that you show your child respect by really listening. Just like slow down, stop looking at your phone, look up, have some excellent eye contact, and really listen to your child. And then just like throw them back a comment like, hmm, ah, how did that make you feel? What do you think about that? Like you don't have to throw them a whole dictionary of commentary, but it just proves that you actually were listening to what he was saying. So the more you listen, the better his self-esteem will be, the more he will feel secure that you give a shit and he will keep talking to you. So try it. Um, secondly, like it's so important to read the mood your child is in when you pick him up from school or when he comes home from school or when you come home from work. Um, is he awake? Is he excited? Is he yawning? Is he reserved? Um, be respectful. And if he is excited to open up, like go for it. But if he's tired, fix him a snack and just let him be. This is not the time to push him and make him open up to you. It will only push his buttons and create tension in your relationship. So just be patient. And once he leaves his funk, he will definitely want to open up and chat with you. Um, ask basic open-ended questions. Again, remember that eye contact is so important. And also, don't you want your child to have like excellent eye contact to strangers and to go out into the world not staring down at his phone or mumbling answers because he's shy and doesn't know how to use direct eye contact? Model, be the model, be the person you want your child to be. Um, so just ask basic open-ended questions and you know, this is a basic business negotiation tactic. You ask an open-ended question and then you shut up. And what happens is that makes the other person a little squirmy, a little uncomfortable where they'll just start talking because they're like, what's happening? Why is it so quiet? Why aren't you talking? Um, so just ask the open-ended question, stop talking, pause, and see what your child shares with you about his day. Um, yeah, and go on dates, date your kid. I am the hugest advocate for one-on-one -on -one day dates. It does not have to, does not have to be extravagant, one hour, tech-free. Um, it can just be sitting on the floor, having a picnic like in your house. It does not have to be anything major. It definitely should not involve buying stuff. And this is just like a really simple way to connect with your child and get your child excited to spend time with you because as we all know, as they get older, they're really not as excited to spend time with you. <laughs> so you have to make sure that you're really excited to spend time with yourself and not lose yourself. Um, and lastly, Never let your child get away with ignoring you. That is parenting jail because it's disrespectful and it means that your child is ruling the roost and it means that your child is, what is the word I want to use? When your child not insular. Or anything, think, 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 think. Well, you know what? It just means that your child is blatantly disrespecting you. And if he's disrespecting you, imagine what how he feels about himself and about his peers and his teachers. No way. Like I said, it's parenting jail and it is completely unacceptable. So never let your child get away with ignoring you for long periods of time. I always say, get in their face, but give them their space. 
And you can always do that by, if they decide to ignore you, you can make up ridiculous answers like, oh, I guess you had space food for lunch. Or you can whisper, you had space food. Or you can make goofy faces. Um, you really want to think out of the box when you start to have a child who's blatantly, disre blatantly disrespecting you. So please don't let that happen. And if it happens, call me. I'll get your kid to talk to you. All right. Thanks for tuning in. And until next week, have a great week. Thanks.